Our bodies are complex structures that allow us to do amazing things, but they wouldn't work without a high level of organization. Today, we're gonna to learn about the different levels inside this hierarchy. to improve your understanding and boost your grades is with my study along workbooks. These are specifically made to use alongside my videos and contain loads of tasks and exam questions. By downloading them, you support me in continuing to make these videos. Get yours now from emmatheteachy.com. Like many things in life, there's a natural hierarchy to the organization of living things. In the last topic, you learned all about cells. Cells are the basic building blocks of life, and they are first in the hierarchy. Examples include sperm cells, nerve cells, which are also called neurons, and root hair cells, amongst others. Next up are tissues. A tissue is a group of cells with a similar structure and function. Let's look at an example. Here we've got muscular tissue, and its function is to contract, causing movement. And you can see that all of the cells have a similar structure. Then we have organs. These are collections of tissues performing specific functions. For example, the stomach here has got three different types of tissue. Firstly, we've got muscular tissue to churn and move the food. We've got glandular tissue over here that can release digestive juices. And the stomach has got epithelial tissue. This covers the surfaces of the stomach, both inside and out. Lots of organs combine to form an organ system. The organs in an organ system work together to carry out a specific function. For example, down here we've got a diagram of the digestive system. The digestive system organs are all working together to digest food. You've also got a respiratory system, and these organs work to bring oxygen into the body and remove the CO2 from it. Let's take a look at the final hierarchy. At the bottom, we've got cells, which build up into tissues, which build up into organs, and lots of organs make an organ system. And what do you think is at the top? Yep, it's the whole organism itself. For example, a human. Okay, it's time for some quick questions. Pause the video and give these questions a go, and when you're ready, press play to go over the answers. Ready? One, what is the definition for tissue? A group of cells with a similar structure and function. Two, rewrite these in the correct order from smallest to largest. So we start off with the cell, which is the neuron, and then the tissue, which is the nerve, and then we're looking for the organ, which here is the brain, and then this organ system, which is the nervous system. That word's a bit of a giveaway. And then finally, the whole organism is the dog. And three, decide if each one of these is a cell, tissue, or organ. Well, the liver is an organ, it's part of the digestive system. The egg is a cell, part of the female reproductive system, and made in the ovaries. And the skin is also an organ. It's actually the largest organ in your body. And along with your hair and your nails, it forms part of the integumentary system. But don't worry, that's not on the spec. So, how did you do on the questions? In the next video, we take a look at one example of an organ system. You can click here to watch it, and please click here to subscribe to the Emma the Teaching YouTube channel. Thanks and bye!